In 2006, uh, we went to Jakarta, Indonesia, as part of a team to um, explore a partnership between Madawi Christian School, Madawi Baptist and a compassion project in Indonesia. Uh, that's when we first met Maria. We came across this house in the middle of a swamp land with all the floating boards that people walk on to be able to um, get to their homes and we we uh, entered this home and there was a man sitting on a bed and two beautiful children standing there and as the story unfolded we realised that this fellow Harris had been actually sitting on that bed for three years. Uh, he's a paraplegic. Um, he was involved in an accident in the shipping um, yards and, uh, and so he couldn't move and he didn't have a wheelchair because he couldn't use it anyway because it was all swampland. But we noticed this beautiful little girl standing there and we just fell in love with her and just had this sense that we really wanted to support the family. And so um, we asked and um, Compassion allowed us to uh, sponsor the little girl who was there and so um, we kept in touch with them and uh, she was able to attend the school there. Very small school and, the, and Medallia Christian School and, and Church uh, supported the growth and the development of the school as well. It was sort of a holistic approach to try to develop that area which was actually built on the side of, uh, of a very large rubbish tip and most of the children there were fossickers and they were um, picking up uh, recycling materials. We realised very quickly that it wasn't just about sponsoring Maria's education but it was about supporting the family as a whole and developing that relationship with them. And so John particularly became quite close to Harris, her father, and in just encouraging him um, in his role as a father and a sole parent. And so we were able to work together and with uh, actually the ABC in Newcastle to rehouse them and then to get a wheelchair for Harris, which you can imagine just changed their lives. He still would um, actually wheel himself about an hour to church each way uh, on a Sunday. And um, by going to church, he was able to get some fellowship and. Uh, one of the things that Maria battled with was her identity. Um, Maria's father um, left when she was young and so Harris was actually raising his stepdaughter which in itself shows his heart. So she struggled with that and so a lot of what we've been able to do through written correspondence and, and meeting with her is to just help her to understand who she is in Christ. And she's an amazing young woman. She's 21 this year and we're just incredibly proud of her. And um, she calls John Papa John. She loves John. And I think that's because he's just become so significant in her world as what it is you know, to have a, a father um, provide a pathway for her future. But your hope is that in that, she would have a greater revelation of God's love for her. I just encourage people, if God's calling you to make a difference in the life of a child, don't just think of it as a sponsorship, think about it as an opportunity to invest in their lives, to develop relationship, because you will be so blessed by that. Um, they just bring us so much joy. And you can change everything in their life by, um, by helping them and sponsoring them and, and just being part of their life, which will make a significant difference in their life, which has a ripple effect to go out to the other children uh, and other families and their community ultimately in the long run.